hello my beautiful people on the internet in this video i'm going to show you how you can achieve this beautiful and productive windows look on your computer when we talk about productive productive isn't just about creating a simple and beautiful mac os look or anything look on your computer in this video i'm focusing on the functionalities your computer can bring you and this is really nice most of the features is some features that are on mac os and not available on windows but with the help of these two tools i'm going to show you today you'll be able to achieve this beautiful content stage manager on your windows computer which is going to make you productive and it really works like a charm and also going to achieve this mac os doc style which is going to help you keep all your apps on the right side or any position on your screen and you're also going to have this my at the top which is going to provide you with a lot of tools like this quick access you can connect like the windows quick access to but it comes with a whole lot of beautiful and nice ui teams which looks more nicer than windows and the other thing we are also going to change is we are going to create a blur look on our explorer which is going to look like this and i really see this to be the more nicest way on how windows explorer should look like so without further ado let's get started into the video to get started there are only two softwares we are going to use in this tutorial to make this beautiful look and the first two i'm going to show you is called explorer blur explorer blur is made by mika for everyone if you have been watching my video then you've known this software which makes your file explorer a bit blur at the background and in this video I'm going to use this their new explorer blur to blur out our windows explorer to achieve a beautiful and a nice look so to get this explorer blur i'll place this link in the description below which is their github link just go there and click on the release which is their latest release which is 2.0 so you scroll down and just click on the release s64 once you've downloaded it just open the zip file up and you will be greeted with this release folder just copy and place it on your computer desktop whilst it's on your computer desktop you can open it and you are going to see these files i recommend you create a folder in your local dc any folder you can use any name for it so i'm going to call my tricks and then i'll be placing all my tricks files over here so what I'm going to do is open it and drag this release file into it and this is where I'm going to place all the files I'll be, I'll be using in this video so that when you, you are ready to uninstall or go back to your default Windows settings you can just reboot your computer and delete this folder and it's going to delete all the things you've done on your computer so once you've place your release file in this you are to open it and run the register.cmd as an administrator so once you are done it's, it's going to open this cmd terminal and it's going to install the file for you once it's done just close your explorer and open it up again and you'll be greeted with this blur and nice windows look and it's really amazing the next tool i'm going to show you is my doc finder my doc finder i've been using this tool in my videos for a while now and this is the latest one i found on someone's github repo last week and this comes with a whole lot of different features which is going to blow your mind so to get this you 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 i'll provide a link to my telegram channel where you can go inside and just download it for free and it's a pay software and if you are willing to pay it you can just go to steam and download steam and then you are you'll be able to purchase it right from there but if you prefer the free one i have it in my channel and you can just go there and download it once you've downloaded it it's a zip file you open it up and drag it on your desktop so when you open my doc finder folder you are be, you are going to be greeted with all these files and what 
you are going to do is also add it to the trick folder you created in your local decks so i'm going to drag this one here and while it's here i'm going to open it and scroll down to ic.doc64.ese and run this as ad administrator and it's going to ask you to allow this and just click on allow so once so once you run it you are going to be greeted with this beautiful mac os doc and you are going to also see the mac os finder on top of your windows so what i recommend you do is right click on your doc and click on preference once you are in this preference there are a whole lot of things here and i'm going to show you a few things which is going to help you achieve the the beautiful look i i got on my computer so to get started with setting up this look you are to go here and one thing i recommend you change is that appearance change it to follow the operating system so anytime you change your computer to light mode or dark mode it's going to go by it and it's really nice and you can also change this ascent color to the multiple here which is going to follow your system ascent color the next thing i recommend you change is start on boot which when you turn on this it's going to always start your dog finder anytime you restart your computer and once you are done you can also change the font and many more over here but the other thing i want to show you is called the new stage manager this new state manager looks like the the beautiful mac os state manager which makes it look really amazing it's going to create a nice state manager on your desktop which is really amazing and i don't know how to explain it to you so let me show you how it is so what you do over here is to click on show state manager icon in doc finder which is going to show this state manager button over here you can just click on it and turn it on on any of your windows display you have i i'm having two multiple display connected to my computer right now that's why you see these two desktop and you can see from yourself it has moved the file on my desktop here so anything i open on my computer this state manager will will allow me to see it at the corner left of my computer which will make it really professional and productive so if i open my file explorer and let's say maybe i'm doing different thing and i want to go back to this old thing i can just click on this one and it's going to switch with the new one and it's really amazing so the other thing I want you to change is you can also hide your desktop icons, but I don't recommend you do that. And also one thing I want you is to turn on this one and also this one. If you have all the displays, you have to turn it on so that it works on all your Windows displays you are having. So the next thing is we can go on our look and feel here and here we can adjust the size of our Windows dock. We can also adjust the magnification. I'll just place mine here and just reduce my dock size a bit. And this one also change the distance between our dock icons and I don't like it so I'll place it at zero. And this one is the distance from the bottom of our screen and I, I like to have it far from the screen. And here we can change the position of our dock so I would like to move mine to the right which is what i prefer feel free to do whatever you like with yours and you are having multiple display you can choose between this multiple display and it's also going to show on your computer and the other one i prefer you change is also this minimize effect if you don't like this state manager effect you can just choose this Gemini, which is going to give you some sweet and nice animation anytime you minimize your computer after you are done with this if you want to add any software to your computer you can just open the software you want to add to your computer dock which is this one open it up you are going to see it over here right click on the app you opened and just click on keep in dock and when you click on that anytime you close it you are still going to have it on your dock and it's really going to help you add a lot of apps to your computer. 
it's really going to help you to add a lot of icons to your dog after you've had it we have this one which is this launch pad and you are to add your apps here and it is going to display like how mac os launch pad is and the easiest way to add apps on your launch pad is very easy just go to preference and inside your preference go to launch pad and this launch pad here click on this one and select the last one which is add icons and size and start menu and desktop and with this when you close it and you restart your dock which is restart dock over here and you open your launch pad you are going to see all your apps you've installed on your computer on the launch pad and it's very nice and if you are not happy with the sizes of your icons it's very easy you can just go to preference and go to your launch pad again and here you can adjust the sizes and everything so feel free to look through this my dog finder software and there are a whole lot of features to it and i recommend you sit down and look through and see the things you like and the things you don't like about it so once you've had your beautiful mac os dock on your computer then you can just grab yourself a wallpaper and then you are good to go so i'm going to change my wallpaper which is going to make my computer look a bit mac osly so whilst i have this one on it i also don't like this windows taskbar on my computer so what i also do is right click on this one go to taskbar settings and i will scroll down to taskbar behavior and just turn it to auto hide and if you don't want to have it in auto hide there's also another way which is going to help you hide it without seeing it again and the way you can do it is just right click here go to preference and whilst you are in your preference you can see automatic hide the taskbar on boot and this one you can turn it on and it's going to hide your taskbar forever anytime you want to go back to your taskbar you can just right click on it and click on show taskbar and it's going to show again and with this my finder at the top there are a whole lot of features here you can have this beautiful quick settings over here where you can connect your wi-fi or bluetooth to anything on your computer we have this sound over here which you can adjust the sound of your computer we have this display you can adjust the brightness of your display and many more so feel free look through and see the things that this new dog finder comes with and you are really going to be amazed with it and the one feature i also like on this dog finder is this stage manager which is really nice it makes you productive and a whole lot of things thank you guys for watching this video and i'll be happy if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you are having any problem just don't feel bad to comment it below and i'll be very fast reply you in just a minute thank you bye